What's happening guys? I recently made a video on how to install KitKat on the Samsung Galaxy SLI 9003 and in this video I'm going to show you some of the cool features of this ROM for this device. Let me start off by saying that this is one of the best custom ROMs for the i9003. It does have its share of bugs but as an overall package this is one of the most responsive and battery friendly Cyanogen mod ROM I have ever come across. The first and the foremost feature is that it runs the latest OS from Google, that's KitKat, and it improves the overall memory management for this device. Under normal circumstances, at least 100 to 150 MB of RAM is kept free and is available on this device. Second, the battery life is much, much better than any other CM release I have experienced till date. The drop down menus are the same as Jelly Bean with sliding on the left giving you the notification draw and sliding on the right giving you the quick settings panel. You can customize the list of items available here and can change the order as well. You can even switch between 2G and 3G right from the quick settings panel once you add a shortcut for the same here. Wi-Fi, GPRS, GPS, Bluetooth and airplane mode work perfectly. However, Wi-Fi tethering currently is a work in progress. The still camera works fine taking 5 megapixel photographs as it is supposed to. However, video recording is still very choppy and is unusable. The panorama feature also does not work currently. These however are minute issues that I can live by given the choice to have KitKat on this old device. The dialer on this ROM looks great and is very user friendly. You get a list of your speed dials as well as the people you call the most right in front of you. The alarm clock also is a welcome change than most of the other CM releases as you can see. Setting an alarm involves moving the clock arms to the desired position rather than entering the time you want it to be set at which is pretty cool in my opinion. You also have a night mode which will decrease the clock backlight to a lower level, convenient enough for you to wake up in the middle of the night to check out the time. Moving over to the UI of KitKat, it comes with a single home page by default. However, if you move an app shortcut to another page, it will create another page and you now have multiple home pages. Similarly, in the app draw, you only get as many pages as the number of apps you have and it constantly increases as and when new apps are installed. Widgets and wallpapers can be added from the home page by pressing the menu button. The calendar currently does not sync with your Google account. Hopefully it will be solved soon. Google now works perfectly as it did on Jelly Bean. However, the always listening feature is currently not available and nor is the OK Google option. Now, I've been using this ROM for the past 7 days and I'm yet to come across a random reboot or a crash on this ROM. Overall, I love this ROM and cannot thank enough the developers at XDA for making this available for my favorite mobile device the Samsung Galaxy SL i9003. I hope you would like it as much as I did and would give this video a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think about this ROM and feel free to ask a question if you have one. Please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like us on Facebook and Google+. Till then, cheers!